Today I'm going to be sharing with you exactly how I photograph the wedding rings on a wedding day. How I get nice and close, get really sharp detail on the ring, and exactly what goes into that behind the scenes, and what settings I use, lenses, all of that. We're going to get into all of it, but just so you know, this is an entire series that I've created on my YouTube channel. It is a how I made this photograph type of thing that I have going, so if you're interested in seeing more of these, go ahead and hit this playlist and I'll have it listed down below. All right, so how did I make this photograph? So the scene of the day, it was a real wedding day. I had just arrived to the venue in Annapolis and it was really, really cloudy outside. So it was nice and diffused light, but kind of dark. And I decided that the best possible solution was to be outside instead of inside, since it's already darker inside, of course, and window light was not gonna be strong enough. So I went ahead and I went outside and I took a styling board. And that's really gonna help you to create one cohesive backdrop for all of your detail images if you're taking a series. You might be photographing more than just wedding rings. You might also have earrings or a bouquet or some stationery. And if you do, it will look nicer if it's all photographed on the same background. So choose a background either in your environment or bring one along that's going to be neutral and reflective of light because that's also going to help light those rings um, and not absorb too much light, which can be tricky to photograph. Once we were outside and I had my scene set up, and you'll see these ridiculous behind the scenes pictures of me crouched over them, I pulled out my camera, I'm shooting on a Nikon D4, and I chose the 60 millimeter macro lens. This is what I photograph all my details on, so if you ever see pictures on my Instagram or my website that are details, it's all taken with a 60 millimeter macro, or my macro filters on almost any other lens. But for this specific one, I know I shot it on the 60 millimeter macro. I didn't use any flash or any reflectors because there wasn't really a lot of space or ability to do that. And reflecting can be kind of inefficient when the light is really, really diffused and dark anyways. So this is just natural light. And my settings were ISO 125, F 4.0, and 1 400th of a second. The next step, of course, is to bring these images into Lightroom and apply your preset so that they all have the same cohesive look. Speaking of photographing the wedding day details, you might also be interested in what I bring along to weddings besides all my regular gear and what I bring in my styling bag, how I make my detail images pop and what you could bring along to your weddings to improve your detail photographs. This video right here on the screen shares all those details with you. So if you're interested to hear what I bring to weddings besides the typical gear, check this video out and I'll see you over there.